I'm here to show you how to do the insulation required practical for GCSE physics. Now this is a really easy one today, it involves a little bit of arts and crafts. So you can do this experiment using a beaker and some bubble wrap and wrap it round so it creates one layer of insulation and you can tape that or you can just use an elastic band just to hold it on there. And then what you can do is build up your layers of insulation every time, two, four, six, eight layers. However, what I have here are some already made, not with beakers, but with cans, works just as well. And I have a can with no insulation, no foam around the outside. I've got two layers of foam, four, six, and eight. What we're gonna do is fill them with hot water and then see what happens to them over the course of 20 minutes. So the insulation on these is going to reduce the heat lost due to conduction mostly. It's going to reduce the vibrations from the can being transferred to the air around it. I also have layers on the bottom of the can as well to reduce conduction happening and energy being lost to the table as well. In order to reduce the energy being lost due to convection, I have a little lid made out of cardboard. That's going to pop on the top here and it just needs to be the same size as your beaker if you're using that. And there's a little hole for my thermometer to sit in. So I'm first of all going to do the experiment with the control. If you're using a beaker, that will be your beaker without any insulation on. So my kettle has just boiled and I'm going to pour this very carefully. You might want to use a funnel for this. And you're going to fill it right to the top because you want to make it a fair test by putting the same amount of water in each time. Thermometer goes on with the lid. What I want to do is wait until I hit a maximum temperature on my thermometer and hopefully that will be the same with every beaker. Now my starting temperature for my water is 85 degrees in this case. So I'm going to start my stop clock and so at zero minutes my temperature is 85 degrees Celsius. I'm going to wait and see what happens after 5, 10, 15, then 20 minutes. Now you can wait the full 20 minutes if you want before you do the next can, but seeing that you've got five minutes to spare, it might be worth you starting the next one off and running them all at the same time. It's up to you. Just make sure that you boil the kettle every time you want to fill a new beaker or can up to make it a fair test again, hopefully starting at a similar temperature. So after 20 minutes for each of my cans, here are my results. What you then want to do is plot a graph and it's going to be temperature on the y-axis, time on the x-axis. And you can put all five sets of data on the same graph. As you can see, the can with no insulation on decreased in temperature much more rapidly than the cans with more insulation on. As you would predict, the can with eight layers of insulation, its temperature decreased the slowest. That means that obviously eight layers is a better insulator than say two layers. And that's because conduction is being reduced by the eight layers more than the two layers. The vibrations are not being passed along to the air nearly as easily as with fewer layers.